Today marks an anniversary that no one ever wanted to celebrate. It was one year ago today that engineers finally managed to cap the Deepwater Horizon oil well, marking the beginning of the end of the crude crisis. The flames are hot now. After the explosion and fire aboard the Deepwater Horizon oil rig in April 2010, engineers worked for weeks to try to figure out how to cap the well and stop the flow of oil into the Gulf. First, BP tried to get the seal-off valves on the blowout preventer to work. That failed. Then the company lowered a 40-foot steel containment chamber over the gushing well to siphon oil to a ship on the surface. That device iced up and failed. The next step was something the company called a top kill. It involved pumping heavy fluid down to the well to plug it. That failed when the force of the gushing well was stronger than the fluid being pumped down to it. BP followed up with robots which made a clean cut to the broken pipe, allowing a new cap and an antifreeze mix to make a tighter seal. By early June, crews managed to suction up 10,000 barrels of oil a day. Then on July 15th, 86 days after oil started gushing into the Gulf, a new cap finally stopped the flow of oil. By the time it was over, government scientists say nearly 5 million barrels of oil had polluted the Gulf. And now BP is claiming the economic crisis for the coast is over. As we've told you, BP wants to reduce future payments to victims of the oil spill, saying things are rapidly getting back to normal along our beaches. That, of course, is no consolation to those people who lost homes and businesses after BP's oil covered the local economy with sludge.